Are you tired of the same old fairy tales that are told every single day to millions of children around the world? Do you want them to have a little bit of something extra, maybe, to spice them up a little bit? Well, man, do I have the perfect book for you. AJ Jacobs' Fractured Fairy Tales is the perfect way to change up those boring old fairy tale stories that many of us hear from the very beginning of our storytelling and story learning journeys. This book is so freaking funny, and I just cannot even believe half of the stories that are written in this because they're all so punny and they are all just so different than what our normal fairy tales actually entail. So if you guys can't tell from the giant smile on my face, I absolutely loved this book. It was so freaking good. Now this is actually a funny story, a book that was given to me by a friend because she was a client that I worked with in the writing center up at school and we were talking about kind of books that were kind of different and kind of out there and I had told her about when I read the story A Tale Dark and Grim which I reviewed for you guys. It's taking the original fairy tales that we know and love, stories like Pinocchio and the Frog Prince and the Seven Swallows and slightly changing them to slightly different outcomes or just different outcomes in general that are so bizarre but it's so different than what we know and we love but it's so freaking good. Now this is actually a middle grade novel as well, I would say, because the writing is very simple. It's not really too fluffy, but it's something that I think that, you know, students who are in middle school would still appreciate. They would still appreciate a lot of the puns and a lot of the things that, the jokes that are made in it. Um, some, maybe a little bit more towards the lower freshman kind of grades too, because it's still, some things may go over their heads, but not to the point where I feel like it's not a book for a middle grade student. I will say though, there are some jokes that are played throughout this book in different stories that may not be exactly appropriate for maybe even middle grade students, which is why I recommend it for maybe kind of lower high school freshman kind of age group just because I feel like those are a little bit more mature than middle schoolers, but I still think that this book is really interesting. It's even enjoyable as an adult because I remember reading so many of these fairy tales and hearing so many of these stories that are played into the story, and so it's really refreshing to see these fairy tales be taken in a different way than than it was originally written and have almost a completely different outcome to the story than it is normally written. So like for instance, one of the stories that is in it is the story of Pinocchio, which many of us know is about the wooden puppet that is turned into a, that has basically life brought into him and he tries to become a real boy. That story is completely different in this book. What basically happens is Pinocchio is given life and because the woodmaker, the puppeteer maker basically, he sees this, he decides to make this puppet a reality star, so he puts him on TV and he becomes the most amazing actor in the world. He doesn't even need cue cards and it's just, it's such an interesting take on what could happen if the story was completely different and it's just so funny to see and I don't know, just something about it brought a lot of joy to my heart even though it was totally messed up fairy tale stories. It just was so freaking amazing and I really think a lot of people would get a lot of good laughs from it. There's not really too much else I can really say about this book honestly because unfortunately it's not an easy book to kind of review. Basically this is a book full of retellings of fairy tales that we know and love but it's just they're all twisted in some way to create a completely different outcome for what, than what we originally know so it's not really that easy to really review it other than maybe the writing style which I've already said is very good. I really enjoy it. It's very punny. I adore puns, so it makes me happy. It's very funny. There's not really anything that is too confusing. I just really enjoy it, and I definitely think that it can reach a, an entirely different demographic than, may have, than it may have even thought possible because so many people can get so much enjoyment from the puns and the jokes that are made in this. Like It can go to as far as the elderly to maybe as young as students who are just getting ready to learn about these fairy tales and things like that. That's really all I had to say about Fractured Fairy Tales by A.J. Jacobs. I know it really wasn't much. Basically what I'm going to be reviewing this on on Goodreads is I'm going to give it a 5 stars just, just purely for the fact that it was so well done in recreating these fairy tales into something that was completely different while still remaining very funny but not to a point where it was distracting and it didn't seem enjoyable. So I don't know, just I really enjoyed how this was created and I really think that the writing style was very well done for the type of book that it's supposed to be. It was very much following a theme that I think was present throughout all of the stories. I just definitely think it's something that I think a lot of people would get a kick out of and yeah that's really all I had to say. I just really enjoyed it. I really think a lot of other people would enjoy it as well. So if you guys have read Fractured 
extra fairy tales let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of it if you thought it was great if as much as I do definitely not one of my favorite books of all time but definitely a really really good one that I strongly will recommend to anyone who is looking for something humorous something to kind of just you know give you a nice little laugh when you're feeling blue all kinds of that stuff but anyways thank you guys so much for joining me in this book review if you guys did enjoy it please do give it a big thumbs up and if you're not already and you'd like to be hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owl at our flock and I will see all of you guys in my next video bye guys